Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a huge crafty haul. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I think it's going to be almost a month, but it's so nice to be back. Um, there's a lot of things to do, a lot of things to catch up on here in the craft room. Uh, as you guys know, 2024 is already here, so uh, we got to organize and clean up and make some room for those new goodies that are coming out. So I hope you guys are ready. Uh, let me get started with some items that uh, are not um, the paper collections because since there's not a lot, uh, let me start with those. Uh, I picked up the reverse craft tweezers from uh, Pink Fresh Studio. These are very uh, pretty. I really love their packaging. I did pick up two because I do tend to uh, misplace them and I hate looking for stuff. So I keep one in my crafty desk and then I keep one in my other desk as well. Uh, these dies are from Craftalier. I picked these up a while back, I believe, when they came out. Uh, maybe, eh, I don't know, about a month ago they had on their website. I believe they still do. I know Frank Garcia does have them available now. Uh, he had the paper collection, but he didn't have these dies. But they are available on his website now, so you can, you know... If you're here in the States, you can get them shipped faster. So these are the um, December Bives um, dies. And this is what they look like. These are very cute. Okay. And then this one is the Event Calendar. This is a must-have die. This is such a cute die. Okay. So those are from Craftalier, and then uh, from Simon Says Stamp, I did pick up uh, this Jolly Holiday Stamp and Die Set. It's nice that Simon Says Stamp is um, uh, doing some dies for his existing uh, stamps. So they are kind of pricey. We don't need the dies. You don't need the dies if you have the scanning cut, but they're just very convenient to have. And from Tonic Studio, I was really excited when I saw this box. This is the Bits and Bobs box die set. And they do have other, they have a bundle that comes with uh, other, you know, like uh, sewing theme uh, related. And, um, but I only like the box. I really like this. Um, and uh, so I only picked this up. It's so cute. And they came with the freebie little butterfly die and from my hobby art I picked up this really pretty uh, rosette die this is a really nice die set and this is from vintage Odyssey and you guys know these are some Spain designers and um, they're hard to get here in the States um, but uh, my hobby art carries these and craftilier also uh, has a USA uh, store website where they can ship some of the items but I don't believe they carry vintage Odyssey uh, they carry more of Laura Vailora dies but my hobby art they do carry um, more of uh, more of these Spain designer um, dies and uh, paper collections and uh, if you use my code Natalie 10 or just Natalie, I think. Yeah, just Natalie. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. You will save 10% off on your purchase. So um, that was very nice of her to offer. So from scrapbook.com, I picked up this stencil and stamp tool. And this is an exclusive color to scrapbook. It's in the color Cherry Blossom. It's very pretty. Um, let me open it up for you guys and see. Um, it says it works with other um, stencils. You don't have to use uh, just Sizzix stencils. So let me show it to you. It's very pretty. See the color? It's a very beautiful color. So I can't wait to try this. Maybe do a review on it or something. But uh, if you like pink tools like me, Everybody does. Everybody likes pink tools. Who doesn't, right? But um, they do have it in gray just in case you don't like pink. Um, but like I said, this is an exclusive color for scrapbook.com. Um, 
it's a very neat tool so like I said I'll probably do a review on it see how I like it I do own a couple of stencils uh, from uh, the greetery and I um, can't remember other places that I've been picking up stencils so can't wait to try that uh, also from Waffle Flower had a huge sale on their website on some of their items and I was able to pick up some dyes that I've been eyeing for a while and these were really uh, they were really uh, like a really good deal they're like about 10 bucks a piece or less I believe so so I was able to pick up this classic book layering stencil and then uh, I picked up the book die and these are very neat because you do get the magnetic um, sheet so they're pretty heavy okay so there's that and then I did pick up the floss organizers die as well and like I said these were a great deal I'm not sure if they still have this the sale going on but uh, I will look it up and link it down below in case they do uh, this is the floss robins die I'm um, floss bobbins die I'm sorry oops and this one are these are the stitchable dies and this was the heart one this one is uh, round and this one is the oval die these are very neat and then I had to pick up the a2 layers die and the a7 layers die for card making I didn't have these so um, they were a great price so pick those up great to have if you do cards make it a lot easier and uh, I also picked up the the brushes what is this called brush stands they have these for like maybe ten dollars or twelve I'm not sure but I need to put them together and uh, that way I can organize my brushes and then uh, so let me start by showing you this collection I'm not gonna go through uh, all the um, little details uh, she does have an Instagram where you can see all the goodies she does take them out from the box and show them to you so I will link her Instagram that video down below if you guys want to check out uh, in detail these uh, this collection and again this collection is from American Crafts and this is by Via Balint Balint and um, this is the uh, what is this one called the papery pack and you do get a lot on these um, packs right here these are very beautiful designs they're very pretty I was very excited when I saw that um, they were releasing this collection it does give you Maggie home vibes but uh, not sure where Maggie Holmes is hiding she hasn't released a collection in a while so hopefully we'll hear from her and this one is the um, stationary pack and you get all these pieces uh, this one is the tassels oops sorry Uh, this one I really like the colors on here. This one is the frame embellishments. You do get some sequins in there and the frames. The colors on this collection are very pretty. I did get um, the ephemera packs. Uh, this one has 15 vellum pieces and this one has uh, 10 vellum pieces. So there's uh, two different ones. You get a lot uh, in these sets right here that bow is so pretty in the bottom and like I said she does show this in detail on her Instagram uh, she showed this pack in a lot of the um, uh, pieces in this collection which is so pretty and then she does have a stamp set And again, this is called Poppy and Pear. I don't think I said that. I just said her uh, name. But this collection is called Poppy and Pear. 
It's available at Frank Garcia and uh, uh, Scrapbook.com already has it available. Here's another pack. I did pick up, uh, I believe, two of each. The puffy stickers are a must-have. These are so adorable. I picked up a couple of packs of these. Look how cute these are. Little hedgehogs. You got the little um, uh, what is it? Little doggies and the little kitties, baby kitties. Very very cute. Um, and then here is the um, sticker book. You get a lot of stickers on this. Um, they're very. Let me see if I can open this up without tearing it. Um, let's see. These you can tear really easy and you can ruin your your papers. Okay, so let me just flip through uh, these real quick. Like stationary paper, and here are some more stickers. So you do get a lot of pieces in these uh, sticker books. Okay. okay, so here's the paper pad. This is the um, 6x8 paper pad and this does have gold foil. And I already flipped through it and I am in love with the 6x8. Um, sometimes I prefer smaller... Um, images but it's nice to have uh, different size uh, images on your paper too. It depends on the projects. But uh, this is very pretty. I love this page. This was embroidery hoops and the bows. Beautiful. And you do get two of each. Okay so that's the 6x8. Uh, this is the 12 by 12 and um, I have not opened this. So let me open this real quick. They do have single sheets as well. I might pick up a couple of the single sheets and more of the 6 by 8s. Um, just because I like, like I said, I like that smaller... Um, smaller images this is very pretty these don't have gold foil and they're not double sided the single sheets are double sided but uh, not the ones for on the 12 by 12 paper pack okay So you get 48 sheets, I'm believing two of each. And then uh, I did pick up the foam stickers. As you guys know, American Crafts is not doing uh, the chipboard anymore. They're doing foam. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but um, they are nice to have with the collection. Images are very pretty. The colors are so pretty and bright. And then they have the 6x12 sticker sheet. Okay, so that is the Poppy and Pear um, collection by Via Valint. And now let me show you the um, uh, paper collection by Celeste Gonzalo. And um, let me see. I picked up the ephemera packs. This one has 69 pieces and this one has 75 pieces. Uh, the colors on this collection are very pretty. Very uh, pastel colors. Images are pretty as well. There's a floral pack. And the size on this are, are uh, a nice size. They're not too big and they're not too small. So I like that. I picked up the embellishment set. This is very pretty. 
a little sequence, confetti. Okay. Uh, the bows are so beautiful in this collection. Uh, these are felt bows. Love the colors on this collection as well. Uh, puffy stickers are very cute. And um, 6 by 12 cardstock stickers. Uh, you get 100 pieces on these. And, oh, this is uh, Rainbow Avenue. This is what they call this collection. So it's Celeste Gonzalo, and the name of the collection is called Rainbow Avenue. Okay. And I'm missing the dies from this um, uh, collection. I guess they're not in yet, so I'm still waiting on those. Okay, so these are the foam uh, alphas. Very pretty. And these are the other uh, set of foam stickers. And then I um, did pick up another one of those embellishment packs. Here is the 6x8, and this one has gold foil. Let me do a flip through. I believe you get two of each as well. Okay. I think this collection will be pretty to make some Valentine's stuff with. Uh, the colors are soft, they're pastel, uh, they're pretty. So I think it will make a good Valentine collection as well. Okay. And then they have the specialty sheets. Uh, this is the foil on vellum. And then the 6 by, not 6 by 12, the 12 by 12 paper pad. Let me do a quick fit flip through of this and you do get 48 sheets no gold foil and these are double sided which is uh, very nice I like when they're um, double sided just because uh, they make your projects look a little bit more nicer Do, you do get two of each as well. Okay. So that is the 12 by 12 paper collection from Celeste Gonzalo. And uh, there's a couple of eBay finds that came in. Let me share with you real quick and then we'll be all done. Um, Oh, I forgot about this collection. Um, let me show you. I picked up this Dear Lizzie die. Uh, this was on eBay. I believe this was one of the dies that I was missing to uh, finish my collection from Dear Lizzie dies. So I was very excited to have found that. I did get this on an, I think it was an Instagram D stash. Uh, I will link the lady's D stash page down below. She is on Instagram and I believe she had this for $20. So it was a very good deal. And uh, from eBay, I also found this Maggie Holmes uh, Willow Lane ephemera. I don't own a lot of this ephemera. It was one of the things that uh, Tuesday morning didn't get much of. It was the ephemera. At least my stores didn't get it. And also, I did find this uh, Crepe Paper Oasis bundle. Uh, it was a really good deal. Uh, I got the ephemera to go with it. As you guys know, this collection is uh, very hard to find. I uh, got the puffy stickers. The 6x12 cardstock uh, stickers. And uh, these are the alphas. I'm not sure if they go to this collection. They might. It looks like they. it does, so I'm not sure. And the Oasis buttons. 
and it also came with 48 pieces of paper and also some chipboard so I'm very happy to have uh, found more of this chipboard I do have a couple of these I just been uh, not wanting to use it because they don't have it anymore and you guys know how that is uh, it also came with a specialty sheet I wish it came with more of these but uh, I'll be hoarding this for now this has that gold foil and it came with four pieces of each um, uh, four designs of each and uh, this one's my favorite it is double sided and these are as you guys know they made really good quality paper back then uh, they don't make it as like they used to and I got this one right here it's very pretty um, We put this where it won't fall and then there's this one this is the back okay let me put this somewhere else because it's going to fall okay, and then they got the flamingos uh, the back side is just like that and then this one Here's how the back looks like. I love the back. Okay, pretty. And then we got this design right here. It's very pretty. I love that pink on that blue. That's the back. I don't own a lot of paper from Oasis, so I was very happy when. Um, Found this. There's the back. Uh, here is the pineapple one. There's that back. And this one's so pretty. Post postage stamps. So pretty. And that's the back, it's like a ledger. And then this one right here, that's the back. And then this one right here. And that's the back right there. Okay, so that is the paper from Oasis. That was my uh, eBay finds. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.